Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Bounty of One. Now we played the demo of this before but now we are in the full game which means we've got different characters to pick from. So previously I think we used this guy Sarah. Yeah, they're pretty cool they had a crossbow and stuff but today we're going to be using Nigel. So the aim of this is to survive as long as possible. In the top left we have a bounty of 100 quid on our head and the more people we kill the larger our bounty will get. And as you can see, Nigel's weapon, he's got like a ninja death star. So it does damage forwards and on the way back as well. So that's quite useful. Let's pick up all these coins and then hopefully we'll get an upgrade very soon. Now, of course, with these sorts of games, the, the aim is to make sure you can be aggressive, get all the coins so you level up. And here we go. We got our first upgrade so we can gain a little bit more damage. And you can see that icon is only a gray one, which means it's sort of it's pretty common. A blue is a rare one, so that's pretty good. We can reduce the cooldowns of dashes and abilities by 10% or the other one we can gain more speed. Now I think speed is pretty useful so we'll grab that and then let's keep attacking. Now we can only attack while we're not moving. So we've got to sort of stand back and then stop moving so I can throw. Nice there's a load of coins. Let's head down. Oh god that was close. So yeah we'll take more people out and we've got to be aggressive at the start. We've, we've got to kill. We've got to go get those coins. So gain a bit more damage. Increase your chance of dealing critical damage by 5%. Or gain more attack speed. I think attack speed so we can throw our Death Star a little bit quicker. You can also see in the middle there is someone with a health bar above their head. That's like a sort of mini boss. If we manage to take them down, uh, they leave us a nice little treasure chest with a guaranteed upgrade, which is very nice. But first, another upgrade. Let's see what the blue one is straight away. Your critical damages deal 100% more damage. Oh, yes, please. We'll take that. And then we just got to hope we can land some critical hits, I guess. Okay, so on the right, you can see there is a golden one. That is a very rare upgrade. But first, let's check out the other thing. So this creates an explosion dealing four times your damage upon taking damage. I'm a bit like Neo. I can dodge the attacks pretty easy. So let's not do that. The other one is we heal one time each time we gain a level. Eh, I've seen better. Let's see what the gold one is. Triples your shot permanently, but reduces your attack speed by 30%. Okay, let's take that. I am very intrigued. So, oh, look, we're throwing three now. Oh, that's pretty good, that. I like that a lot. Um, oh, man, it is, it is very, very slow, though. Let's head down, because I've got all these coins that I left behind before. So, next up, gain more attack speed. I'm pretty much going to ignore all the grades, I think. Oh, and raise your health by one. I think I'm going to take that at this point, because I've only got one health. So if I take that, yeah, now I've got two health out of four. So that is fantastic. Yeah, there's another boss dude. He's like a weird bull bag gingerbread man. Like, what is that on his face? Is that just a butt forehead or is that literally a butt as a forehead? <laughs> Either way, I'm, I'm going to try and take him down without getting hit, hopefully. Now, the trouble with focusing on him is we're not getting any kills, which means we're not upgrading. But we do have the chest now, which means a guaranteed upgrade. Now, no gold ones this time. So we've got the two that we had before. What's the middle one? Oh, so we can lower attack speed again, but damage is 30% high. Yeah, sod it. Let's do that. We're going to be shooting very slowly. Oh, no. Oh, poo. There's a, there's a fast boss, dude. I've had this guy before. He literally just runs at you constantly. And because I take so long to attack now, it's a bit of effort to do damage on him. But still, we'll head up over here. Oh, yeah, we've got loads of coins up here. I forgot about these. I forgot about these. All right, we've managed to level up. And what a level up that is. We've got two gold ones and a blue. The blues gain more damage. That is reduce cooldowns of dashes and abilities by 30% or gain much more attack speed. Let's gain the attack speed and hopefully we can sort of get back to firing at the rate that we were. Is it much quicker? I, th I think it is. It's sort of hard to tell because you've got to run away before you can actually fire. Oh, yeah, it's definitely quicker. It is definitely quicker. All right, now it's one more hit. I missed him with three. All right, there we go. What's the upgrade? Oh, we got a super rare. So I think the order of rareness goes like gray, blue, gold, and then purple. So that is gain armor that protects you from one hit. I think that is guaranteed. What is the one next to it, though? Deal area damage before you dash and gain a dash. So that could make dashing an attack, basically, not just a means of escape. So that's pretty good. I'm going to go with the gain the armor, though. Yeah, so that basically means we can take a hit without dying or without losing a life probably pretty useful it basically just means i gain an extra bit of health all right let's take out some of these and then try and get some coins there's lots of blue coins blue coins are worth more i did lose i lost my shield there shall we raise our maximum health by one i feel like more criticals is probably better so yeah let's go with that oh god i've only got one health now that's not ideal <laughs> 
Right, we've got, to, we've got to get some coins. We've got to level up and hope for a health upgrade. You do occasionally get hearts that regen your health. They're pretty... They are pretty rare. You don't see them too often. Oh, no, I really want that one. Your critical damage deals 150% more damage. Or do I play it safe and raise my maximum health? Oh, I don't know. Thing is, as an engineer, I feel like I've always done the sensible thing. So it's time to, it's time to live on the edge. We're going with critical damage being better. And then we've just got to really hope that we see <laughs> we see some health at some point. I gotta remember I can use my dashes as well if I need to escape. Oh, that guy just threw a bloody bomb at me. Ah! A dynamite throwing mole. That's not nice. Right, the good news is I've got my little shield back, so I can take a few more risks, I guess. I'm trying to collect all these coins. Let's try and take out some of these mobs. I don't think yeah, the dynamite doesn't do friendly damage. So unfortunately luring them in doesn't do anything. Oh god. God, there's so many people. I need I need to get some coins. I'm losing. I'm losing the battle. There's a lot of blue coins in there, though. Right, let's let's go get these coins. There's some blues. There's some blues up here. That's gonna level me up. That is gonna level me up. Yes, there we go. Alright, so gain a lot more damage. Your projectiles bounce one more time. Ooh. So that's probably more rare than the purple, actually. I got excited about the purple previously. I think gold is better. So let's do the bounce. And I think that means when my things fly out, they should bounce and hit more people, maybe. Potentially. So your shots pierce through one more enemy. Or we can reduce cooldowns of dashes and abilities by 30%. Let's do the shots pierce through one more enemy. Because that should help us reduce the, the thickness of the crowd, let's say. Yeah, annoyingly, there's a fast boss after me. So we're going to have to try and take him down a bit first. Ow! No, I lost my shield. Right, level up. Okay, we really need health. Permanently augments your damage by 10%, but your projectiles are 50% slower. I sort of want to go that one just because it's called Dirty Nigel, and my character is called Nigel. <laughs> but uh, the middle one makes more sense. The lower your health, the faster your attack. Our health is always low, so yeah, let's grab that one. And then we've got to be careful. Where are we going to run to? Let's dash over this way. And we're going to head top right in a diagonal manner, uh, trying to collect any coins we might have missed on our way down here. So obviously every enemy we killed, there's some coins to be collected. Oh god, oh god, oh god. There's a lot of enemies, there's a lot of enemies. Take them down, do some damage. Come on, I got low health. You're meant to be shooting really quick. Come on, Nigel. Shoot faster, man. Yes, okay, we're leveled up. We really, really need health. Chance of dealing critical damage increases by 10%. Oh, pretty nice. Critical damage does 150% more damage again. Or raise the range of your area effect by 25%. Well, I don't think I have any area of effect damages at the moment. So let's do more critical damage. I'm so critical. If I land a critical hit, everything's getting one-shotted. Yeah, it's just a big if at the moment, I think. Uh, enemy's getting quite strong now. I could definitely do with some damage. Yeah, that... Oh, man, he took three hits. That is a gold coin, though. Gold coins are worth more than blue ones. Right, I really need to take out some of that crowd. There's a dynamite. Bloody hell. Okay, we need, we definitely need damage. There's no damage upgrade. We're just doing critical again. 150% more critical damage. Oh, there's a heart. There's a heart. Okay, so let's just thin out this herd a bit and then try and head left. So we'll go around these guys. Get the heart. Nice. Okay, okay, that's good. Loads of gold coins as well. I'm going to gain a little bit more damage. Hopefully I can actually destroy some of these people in a few less hits because that is the biggest downside of our build at the moment it's taking quite a lot to kill anyone oh there's gold coins there all right there's there's the devil dogs the dogs are back they were in the first video oh look there's a chest there as well we'll grab that oh this is a good one so the gold one is standing still gradually increases your attack speed until you move again so the max bonus is times two after 10 seconds so if i can stand still for 10 seconds I'll shoot twice as fast. That's pretty good. Or the 180 no scope also shoot behind you. Oh, that sounds a lot more interesting. Because will that do triple out the back as well? I think I'm going to take this one in the hope that it does triple out the back. Oh, he does one out the back. Oh, what a ripoff. What a ripper. Anyway, let's grab all these coins. We've got another upgrade. Increase your chance of dealing critical damage. Definitely. We want to do as many critical hits as we can. Now they're so powerful. Um, I just dashed out the way there. There is this boss we got to try and get rid of. He's quite annoying. Uh, and I think the reason he's after me, I've got I've got a bounty on my head of nearly $5,000. But yeah, at least we can throw lots of throwing stars at once. Because if a couple of them hit on him, that's like triple the damage we would have got with just one thrown. Oh man, there's so many enemies. There's so many enemies. <laughs> 
I don't like this. We're going to have to go down and try and collect some coins now because it's been a while since I upgraded. So let's go wide. Ah. Ow, I just got hit. I just lost my shield. And some coins. We've leveled up. Nice. Okay, what have we got? Gain a bit more damage or increase the critical hit chance. I think we're going to go damage just because my shots are really doing nothing. Oh, there's some health there. Very nice. There's gold coins over there. Nice. That was very close. There's another coin there. Ah! <laughs> There's so many enemies. All right, any more coins down here? I think that might be it. I think we should probably... Oh, God, we got one health. We got one health. We got to head back up without getting hit. We really need to start thinning the herd. There's so many people. Ah! All right, gold coins. Oh, there's loads of gold coins over here. Oh, there's a chest down here. I don't know where that came from. Shoot four times faster, but deal three times less damage. I mean, technically, you are increasing your damage per second out there so i think i'm gonna take that yeah let's do it oh my goodness look how fast we're shooting oh no we've got a boss as well we've just unlocked the next boss we have just got an upgrade though gain more attack speed <laughs> i don't know if i need any more well the purple is critical damages oh yeah let's do that because i think if we're shooting this fast we're bound to do some critical stuff so this is the boss out he's just hit me already but yeah he's a little dog and he's a dog with a waggy tail look at <laughs> look at his little tail going but uh, yeah, he does summon like mini bosses that we do have to take care of. Um, we just have to be very careful because I'm on, if I get hit once, I'm dead. Uh, and of course, only the big one does boss damage. The little ones are just like little, well, they're just little annoying dogs, like a little chihuahua or something. The main boss is like a proper dog. He's like a Labrador. But yeah, we've taken out the little whippersnappers, although two more have spawned. Not ideal. So close to killing me all the time. Dash. <laughs> All right, I've killed the little one. Let's try and take some damage out the boss. This is really starting to annoy me now. Thankfully, my little shield thing has come back, which means I can survive one more hit. I'd rather I'd rather not lose that, though. Because it's quite stressful only having one bit of health. But yeah, we'll just keep damaging these. Ah, and then hopefully... Oh, I've just, I just lost my shield. Oh, that was so close. I nearly lost it there. I nearly lost the entire thing. Later. All right, so normally the dog's got the better of me, so I'm gonna check out. The, <laughs> I'm gonna check out this other character who's called Olin. He's like a little skeleton guy wearing a sombrero. So he's got like a cactus. Oh, he's going mental as well. He's got a cactus, but I think every so often he shoots like a like a big area effect thing, which does. Oh yeah, which does like a sort of poison cloud and then spikes in every direction, which is pretty cool. Yeah, that is quite useful actually. So we'll see how this guy gets on. Oh, look, we've got a boss. We've got the boss. How is he going to cope now? Because obviously, if we stay close, we know that we do constant damage. Uh, but we also, we catch projectiles, which means these dogs are a bit less threatening, despite their waggy tails, which is definitely a sign of threatening dogs, usually. But yeah, we are absolutely rinsing the boss. He's down to half health already. I'm going to take out some of the little dogs because we are... We're losing a bit of health. I've just dashed twice to regain them quick. I just really like that we, we're catching the skulls. So we, they can't actually do too much damage to me. I can dodge out the way pretty easily. Um, I just got I just got to stay close enough that my garlic breath does damage. Isn't garlic poisonous to dogs or is that onions? Maybe both. So whether it's garlic, whether it's onion, it's definitely doing damage. Let's dash through them. That did a bit more damage. And then come on, boss. He's nearly down. He is nearly down. All right, the boss is down. Does that mean his little minions die? I'm not sure. We got a victory. Our score was 27,750. We can actually continue. So let's continue. The chest for killing the boss. Oh, it's three blueies. So when you stay still, periodically fire projectiles around you. That could be good because with the garlic, we're not going to be moving too much. Now this one, if we gain health, we do 10% more damage, but move slower. That could be useful as well, actually. Oh, wow. All that one. Emit an aura that slows down enemies near you. Yeah, let's do that. Because if they slow down, the garlic will do the damage for longer. So this could be a standing still sort of build. Although we do need to be careful of the people that fling themselves in. And the ones that throw dynamite. But still, just moving a little bit isn't isn't too bad, is it? Just, if a dynamite lands near me, I've got to be careful. Reduce the cooldowns of dashes by 30%. Yeah, sure. We'll have that. Grab all these coins. Dash through those. I love that dashing properly clears a path as well. It's pretty cool. All right, loads of coins down here. Let's grab these. And then we should be able to level up. Gain a lot more damage. That sounds good. 
Because I think the damage of our garlic onion area thing, I think that depends on your overall damage. Yeah, so do we go with the gluttony, which increases our damage for health? Or this one, the tequila bottle. Permanently raises your attack speed by 30%, but half your shots are less precise. Definitely take that. I literally... Oh, I feel dizzy. <laughs> I think I'm drunk on tequila. Yeah, I feel like projectile accuracy is literally not a thing when there's this many enemies. Even if it's completely inaccurate, it's going to hit someone, most likely. Just got to try and collect enough coins. There's coins everywhere, but they're getting away from me. Let's raise the range of our area effect. Make the garlic even more dangerous. And then try and keep grabbing coins. There's coins everywhere. Wait, I might dash through these people. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that was good. There's going to be some serious coinage if I go north. Oh, look, there's a boss over there. If we can get the boss, that's a guaranteed upgrade. Because upgrades, they're getting pretty far and few between at the moment. Got to be a little bit careful. There's some health down there. I'll go grab that. Where's the boss got? I literally can't even see what's happening on screen. Does anyone know where the boss is? <laughs> right, there he is. There he is. He's close. Right, let's go grab that. What have we got? He was for one time each time you gain a level. Meh. Right, so when we stand still, we fire projectiles. That could be good. What is this one? Drops a dynamite before each dash. And gains a dash. <laughs> oh, dashing is like super overpowered now. We just upgraded again. Let's increase our health. Our health is only four out of five, so not ideal really. But um, if we if we dash, we leave dynamite behind. Yeah, so the dynamite does a bit of damage, but it doesn't actually. I thought it might like one hit kill most people. Doesn't seem to be the case. So maybe a bit of a waste that up upgrade. But I'm not going to complain because all damage is good damage in my books. Oh, look at all these coins. There's so many coins down here. We've we've leveled up again. Raise our health by two. Gain a lot more attack speed. Let's do the attack speed. I think until we get an upgrade that warrants having more health, we may as well just go all out attack. Because attack is the best form of defense, as some people say. Anyway, there is a boss in there. Can we get some? There's two bosses, actually. I've just dashed through them. Hopefully, if I go up, there should be the chest. I'm going to collect some gold coins from down here. Right, oh, there's the boss, there's the boss. Right, boss is down, grab the chest. Whenever you take two damage in a row, heal for two health. Now, I don't think I'm ever going to take two damage in a row. Deal area damage each time you dash. Don't I already have that? I don't know, let's grab it again though. <laughs> What's the worst that can happen? Right, there is another boss in there. I would like to kill him. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get close enough to him to actually do damage. There's so many enemies. <laughs> Oh, we've leveled up. Gain two dashes. I'm going to raise my health, I think. Oh, I don't know. Dashes are useful. I'm just scared the enemies are getting strong. That's no, all it. Let's gain two dashes. Because that is essentially gaining two health. So dash, dash. Oh, that was some mega damage, that was. Dash, dash. i got to dash through them. <laughs> so many people just... Boosh! <laughs> oh, right. I've used all my dashes now. I'm a little bit in trouble. I won't be able to gain any health by dashing because i literally can't dash we need to wait for them to regen dash 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 <laughs> there's so many people run away <laughs> okay that was quite scary there was a boss in there i don't know if i killed him no i think he's he's in the middle of the mob you can just about see him in there he's got a very low health bar there's three bosses in there if i can actually get close all right we're down to two health there is health there i've got to grab health we really need to level up really 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 need to level up oh man this is getting this is actually getting hard now this is getting hard yes okay we killed the boss we got another chest attract collectibles from further away stand still fire projectiles or do damage i think i need more damage i'm barely doing any damage at the moment so we've increased it by 30 percent hopefully that's enough my frame rate is actually dying now now another upgrade i'm gonna take the health two more health that should be quite useful. It takes so many coins to level up now. I'm really, I'm not killing anyone with my garlic anymore. I need, I need more damage. Yes, okay, we killed a boss. We got a chest. What's in the chest? Ooh, what's the dice? Gain an additional choice for upgrades and objects. This additional choice is always of rare or higher quality. Yes, please. Now, the trouble is we have to wait for another upgrade, which could be a while. Have I killed the boss? I can't even see. There's too many enemies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love just booshing through the crowd. It's awesome. Boosh, boosh. <laughs> All right, you got full health, so I may as well lose some health before I dash again. Well, that didn't take long. That didn't take long. All right, let's boosh, boosh. Oh, I love dashing through everyone. The frame rate does not at all, though. 
<laughs> right, boosh, boosh. Dash, dash, dash. And that's good. The area effect, you can see all the numbers in there. It's just no one's dying. I'm not doing enough damage. Boosh, boosh. Boosh. <laughs> right, there is a boss in there as well. He's like a gingerbread head one. The frame rate is just dead though. Right, we got another chest. We got another upgrade. So we get four to choose from. Oh, we got the, got more dice. So gain two re-rolls. Gain three re-rolls or increase our health. I think three re-rolls. And then do I get one now? No, I don't. Okay, so next time we'll be able to roll three times, which will be useful if there is a next time. I'm a bit concerned there might not be. Yeah, and I'm concerned my computer might melt before this finishes. <laughs> the good news is there are two bosses that are low on health. So it's just a case of, can I actually take them down? Boost through them all. Gotta keep doing damage. Come on. All right, dash, dash. There's gotta be, there's gotta be a chest in there now. Surely there's so, I can see so many health bars in there. And they're all so empty, but not empty enough. How have I not killed a boss yet? Come on. Right, boosh. Boosh. In fact, I can't remember the last time I saw a coin. I don't think I'm killing anyone. I can't remember the last time I saw more than one frame a second. <laughs> right, there is a weak boss. There is a weak boss. The gingerbread man. Take him down. Oh, he's too strong. He's too strong. Right, dash, 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 dash. Man, there's so many freaking fireballs coming at me when I dash through. Like, dash, dash. And then stand over here. And the fireballs just go, whoa. <laughs> right, there's a chest. There is a chest. What's in the chest? I mean, I could take gluttony or I could re-roll. Let's re-roll. Let's see what we get. Ooh, what's that? It's a golden eye. Gain 100% chance of dealing critical damage, but deal three times less damage. Ooh, sod it. Let's give that a go. Because, yeah, look, now our critical hits, they do area effects. So... <laughs> So my, cr my screen is just exploding and the frame rate loves that. It really, it's really thanking me for that. So yeah, if I just stand still and shoot, I think the game might crash. <laughs> yeah, so basically whenever I fire, the game stops working. I mean, the game's pretty much stopped working as it is. Okay, we're probably going to die now. I literally, this, this is all the movement I've got. I've got like a frame a second if I'm lucky. And there you go, defeat. <laughs> oh, thank God that's over. That was hurting. We got a 76 grand bounty on our head, though. That was fun. And of course, the score only counts up to the boss. So we got 10,934, which I think in the leaderboard, it probably would have put us 13th. Let's say we're the 13th best in the world. But anyway, guys, that was Bounty of One. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace, love, and bounties. Yeah, chocolate.